Welcome, Welcome to, to Japan, Japan Minutes. Minutes. I'm Haruka. I'm Japanese, and I've been living in Singapore for like two years. I'm Chloe. I'm Singaporean, born and bred here, but I've lived in Japan very briefly about ten years ago. Today we are going to talk about the Japanese superfood. We have kinako, natto, and also amazake. I think what is new to a lot of us non-Japanese people is really kinako and also amazake. Especially like amazake is quite um, trending now in Japan, right? A lot of people are. Really? I don't know. That's what like no, I met like I Japanese think people like. It's staple for New Year's. Oh. When people go to shrines, uh -huh. you know, it, it, when it's very cold, people drink it. But the thing is, I've never, I've never had it before. Yeah, so, so it's I, I, I mean, I lived in Tokyo for a year and a half, like ten years ago. I, I don't know what is amazake. So I only mm. stumbled across this thing, in uh, Dong Dong Donkey in Singapore, and I picked it up because I thought it was like a drink and I went home I was a bit confused on what is it for and then I realized like, I went to read out a little bit and I'm like oh okay so this is amazake and it's mm. quite a, a healthy thing like something beneficial yeah. to your yeah. body and things like that so I think we start with amazake first because okay. we have most and it comes in different forms yeah. the liquid form which is drink uh, and then there is also the powder form right the process of making it is like sake correct it's fermented Rice. Yeah. Which is like sake. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like sake. Yeah. However, yeah. however, it's yeah. non alcoholic. So even the one like you see here is actually uh it looks cute, like with a smiley mm. face. So I think it's kids friendly as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so basically children uh can take it as well. Let me just uh, briefly explain <laughs> the benefits of this amazake. There are some like origin stories, but uh, one of them is that it was invented in the Edo period as a summer energy drink. Energy drink. Invented, Wait, so yeah. energy drink is it like Red Bull equivalent kind? Yeah, like ancient times equivalent. Okay, yeah, okay, because okay. Uh, yeah. So, so we know ancient people. It's good for uh, it in increases metabolism. Oh, it, oh, fasting. Really? Oh, so it increases yeah. your metabolism, which means yeah. like helps you go on diet something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? That too, okay. that too, and okay. also it uh, relieves. Oh, okay. And it's really good for skin, brighten the skin, it makes it more healthy. And, and also, amazake is good for diet. There's, uh, there's some kind of element that tricks your brain into thinking we're full. Yeah, so we eat less, I guess. So it's good that I actually have this <laughs> every morning. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe that's why I don't have a lot for my breakfast. I actually put it in my coffee as well in the morning. Mm. Yeah, I will just, oh. just open it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's very exciting because at the back pack it says like, you know, you can drink it with hot oh, or yeah. cold milk mm. and then with like yogurt as your topping or like on toast. And when I saw it on toast, I'm like, huh? So I tried it. It's oishi this. So okay, so anyway, Haruka has prepared like black coffee because she has never tried amazaki that way and I introduced her. So she's going to try it as Oh, maybe, but we should try the, the or original one first. Oh, this okay, is the okay, original, okay. right? Can. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the original. I actually have no idea which is the I original. I think, no, this, is, this looks like... Okay, so we will try that first. Yeah. So this, actually, we got Wait, it, do uh, we shake it from... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it says shake well. Oh, okay, okay. And you can you can drink it a cold or you can drink it hot. We also did like warm up the cup, which we will try later. So do you want to start first? You can pong this Okay. Uh, oh wow. Okay, kampai. 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 Oh really? This will be my first time drinking like liquid amazake, like the real yeah, same, amazake. Yeah, same. Same. Me too. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> it's actually nice. Ah, oh, you like it? It's light. It's light, yeah, right? Yeah, it's light. Oh, this is very nice. But but it's oh, quite sweet. It, yeah. It's quite but sweet. But it's not too sweet though. I find it quite sweet. Really? Yeah. Um, like what can we compare does it, it with? Does it have like gingery... No? Ging a bit, a bit. Yeah, a like, little bit. Yeah. Yes. It's quite sweet for me. Mm, okay, yeah, it's sweet. And sake is not that sweet, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, it kind of tastes like very very sweet version of sweet sake. Oh, so there's yeah. sweet sake as well. Yeah, like lighter, sweeter sake. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll okay. drink this for oh, the so for all the I mean for, for all, all the, the benefits. benefits. Yeah. Okay. We bought another version also from Shopee. Uh, so this one is from 
brown rice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this oh, is from brown okay, rice, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is why it's brown in color. We did warm up a cup first because it says you can drink warm, hot, or cold, and we microwave one cup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, but uh, one thing uh, to be careful of is not to make it too hot because then the, all the nutrients will oh, die. Oh, it's gone? Yeah. Oh. So it's actually oh, better to drink it cold, right? Uh, it says the best temperature is the warm uh, skin, skin temperature. Skin temperature. Yeah. Okay. I'll try this. This smells very sweet. It's like thicker than this. Uh, oh, oh. And it, it kind of tastes like chestnut. Chestnut? Yeah. Oh, okay. It smells like there is some um, black sugar. Yeah. Is there? In, in there? Like black sugar? Okay, let me try. Oh, I like this one more. I like I like this yeah. one more. But I feel like this one we should have it with, I don't know, like cereal or something that mm. you blend oh, slightly away. Uh, the this. recommended uh, way of consumption is put half soy milk. Soy milk. Okay. Yeah. Or one to one. Okay. Uh, or or, uh, you just pour it to some, like dish, and then freeze it, and make it a as a sauce. sorbet. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. So I feel that this would go well with uh, like the binket. Have you tried binket? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Right? yeah. I think it I would be really good. Go yeah, very well yeah. With like if you go to any binket store, like <laughs> white or white binket, how do you yeah. like the freeze? And um, you just add this inside, I yeah. think it would taste perfect. Like yeah. it's, it would, um, instead of using like those sugar syrup, mm. like using this, I think it would be yeah, much healthier. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so actually, we shouldn't drink this like on the rock. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. I think I might actually put one bottle at home. Then we try this one as mm. well. So this one is uh, I, this is from Dong Dong Donkey as well, and I got this from the like the milk section. So it's um, actually cold already when I got this. It looks like milk milk rice. So yeah. every time I pass by it, I never like taken attention of it until I was researching and I was like, oh, actually there is this like selling in Singapore already, like this Amazake, um, just off the rack. So this one also says like non-alcohol amazake. I suppose it's more maybe easier for like kids to consume or something, mm. right? Yeah, versus like this one which looks more mm, mature. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we try this. So so far, among this this one and this one, like this one is the sweeter one, right? Mm. This is the lighter one. And oh, it's, yeah, it's the texture is thicker. Oh thicker as well, yeah. yeah. Should I open this? Mm. Okay. This is very light. Lighter mm. than this. Mm. So this is really like a yogurt drink. So this is equivalent to, I would say, probiotic drinks that you find um, in your supermarket, right? It doesn't have much of that sake kind of mm. uh, kick in there. Really tastes more like um, those probiotic yogurt drinks. It's actually, I, I like this one most because it's least sweet. And also it's the cheapest in my phone. <laughs> So this one is the least sweet I find. Yeah, and I think it's the it's for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So these two really, are not for kids yeah. as well because if you don't want your kids to have too much sugar, then this one should be good. So, do you know why this one is less sweet and this one? Uh, it, do they did they say they add sugar or? Mm. Because this one is really sweet though. Oh, it has it has ginger. Oh, it has ginger. Oh, and honey. And honey. Oh, okay, no wonder. Oh, and sugar. Ah, yeah. Okay, so this one it. No, I think this one might be the purest, maybe. Oh, I thought this one would be pure, the purest. It looks, like it looks one. like the like the most one. legit. Yeah, I like this mm. one. Too. And okay. this one will only uh the brown rice mm -hmm. and koji. Koji is the the farmer. Koji, thing yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah, rice, yeah. Right? Okay. Oh, I think the koji is like uh in your skincare brand, like yeah, Kome Koji. Yeah, Hada Labo. Uh, yeah, I, Hada I Labo think yeah, and yeah, yeah, too, yeah, they have all yeah. those fermented stuff. Yeah, so that's the koji. Yes. Yeah. So I think among the liquid, and then this which one's one your favorite so far among these three? I think this one. I, I like this one. one. Yeah. So this one, I think if I consume this one, it definitely have to go with something that's very plain to mm. it. Yeah. But for everyday uh, drink, like as a probiotic drink or something, I think I would go with this one. Right. Now, let's try this one. In coffee. Yes, in coffee. You, you will try it. Wait, you, you do that every day, right? Uh, yes. So I, I ha when I have my morning coffee, because I I call myself, I drink fake coffee. So I don't drink like black coffee and things mm. like that. Right? I only drink latte and all because I don't like the bitterness. Mm. So I use this as like sugar. Can I smell it? Oh. Mm. 
Hmm? You don't like the smell? No, I don't know. It's like I don't know it how to describe smells. it. Okay, like yeah. okay, you, you add like whatever. Wait, how how sh- how much should I add? I think not too much because this is also quite sweet, actually. Too much? I think okay. Yeah, it's a lot of coffee. But do you usually have your coffee sweet or like black or? Um, one sugar. One like sugar. One, I, think, I think this yeah. should do. Yeah. Wait, I, I want a little more. You, you sure before you try? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you tell me if this is a good way of having it. Yeah. Yeah, it still smells like coffee. Love it? Hate it? It still tastes like coffee. That's good, right? Yeah. Uh, I think, is yeah. The sweetness okay? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not... I think maybe I should put more. Oh. <laughs> not necessarily, like, very sweet, but... Yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah. So will you have like will you buy a pack and then like put it on your toes, your Okay, yeah, I off? think I think we should try this. Okay, so on the on food. So Haruka has a lunch here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have fruits, toes. Uh, toes, right? Because we are following the packaging very closely that says that like, you can put it on toes, so we will try I'll just sprinkle it. Yeah, just sprinkle a little bit. Wait, how much do you usually put? Not oh yeah, just sprinkle like yeah. But I, I eat it with French toast. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's already like has like honey and stuff, right? No, without it. So I use this as uh, like oh. But I put a lot of butter. Uh. Yeah, I like fattening <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so, can you see? Okay, so she's gonna take a bite and tell us if this thing blends well with toast. Yeah. Hmm. How is it? No, it's good. It's, it's good? Yes. Man, l- so let me just... So we converted a Japanese to like <laughs> Amazaki today. <laughs> yeah, this like, this powder itself, it's like, not as sweet as like these. This, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It like really matches. Like it has honey and uh, So some... it's not too sweet because yeah. fruits itself to me is yeah, really quite yeah, sweet, yeah. Right, but it's okay. Yeah, but... Okay, that's good. So in terms of sweetness ranking, mm. so we would rank. Do you think this is sweeter or this is? I I think this is the least sweet to me, right? Or you think it's this one? Mm. This one. Mm. Okay. So it's this one, least sweet, and then this, and then that white one, yeah. and then this one is the yeah. sweetest. Yeah. And it's actually quite filling, right? Mm. So I have like a few mouthful. Yeah. Like it's, it's actually quite filling. Yeah. Yeah. Should we move on to kinako? Yes. Yes. Kinako is. Actually, kinako like uh, natto is made from soy, right? Yeah. Soybeans. They just uh, roast the uh, yes, yes, roast, roast the beans, and that adds more nutrients mm. than soybeans itself. So this one we have here is uh, walnut with black sugar with kinako. So it's like walnut, black sugar, and soybeans. Yes, roasted soybeans, yeah. and it became uh, this type of kinako, which. Uh, it says here also you can add it with milk. I, at home, I think what my husband does is he drinks this with uh, his smoothie. So he would put banana milk mm. and then you add a bit of kinako and then some chai seed and then just yeah. blend it. Uh, it tastes really good and it's very mm. filling. Uh, it also says you can add it to your ice cream, your yogurt, and in Japan, like people put it on top of mochi, right? Yeah, that's, so the, that's, that's the most common one. That's the most mm. common one. So today, Haruka is going to add this into her yogurt. yogurt. Oh, and the amount of protein it has inside is actually more than chicken breast like per 100 grams yeah yeah Mm. so chicken breast has like 31 grams per 100 grams and this kinako has 37 point something grams so this could easily actually be our meal replacement Mm. yeah so for those of you like uh if if they are on diet can they eat this yeah 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 yeah, it's really good like meal replacement it's Mm. super healthy right I think the benefit of this one is like it gives you good skin complexion yeah, oh, and things okay, like that. Okay, let's as well. see. Yeah. This just done having good. <laughs> <laughs> Kinako. Yeah, the the most protein and also fiber, so it's really fiber. filling. Yeah. Mm. Dozo. Hi, okay. arigato. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so it looks like so she has like a bowl full of yogurt protein. with kinako. Mm. It's good. Mm. Especially because it's like a little sweet, mm. slightly sweet. It's really good. Yeah, because it has black black mm. sugar. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it's good with. It smells actually. It smells oh, yeah. really good. It smells like. Mm. Yeah, I love I love kinako. Like yeah. 
So we will have to interrupt a bunch a little bit <laughs> because we will have to move on to natto. So natto is the most common like Japanese superfood, I guess. Mm. Everyone knows about natto. It's like durian. Either you look yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why actually I found this version, which is the freeze-dry natto. So it, it takes away that stickiness like mm. feeling of it. It's just like peanuts. So it's like that. So it's really just like a peanut and you can just can I have eat it. Like, so it's crunchy and... Um, yeah, it looks good. No. It's not sticky, right? It's not sticky. So it's really dry. So it's mm. dry. And crunchy. Mm. But oh, but it tastes like natto. It tastes mm. like natto, right? And when you bite it, there really is that uh, natto, mm. not say pungent, but that... Slightly. Slightly, yeah. That, that kind of uh, taste that yeah. comes out, that, that, that natto feeling, right? And I, and I read that the dry freeze, um, Natto is also just as healthy as the sticky sticky mm. ones but also there are uh, many versions of the natto out there right now I think there are also the fried ones Really? There and then with like as snacks so I, I've seen it a uh, dried one with snacks right and then they put like wasabi powder and then oh, curry okay, sauce Oh okay that sounds so good like yeah it. But I'm not sure about the nutrition value of yeah. this like snack, yeah. Mm. For those of you who is keen to try natto because it really has a lot of benefit, especially uh, for ladies, right? It's yeah. very good for your skin and all. I think uh, as a starter, as a beginner, you can try this dry, freeze-dry natto. And then we also have obviously the most common one that everyone sees in uh, any supermarket in Singapore. Uh, so this one comes in like a three-pack styrofoam. Yeah and uh, I suppose it has the mustard and the soy sauce inside. Uh, are we gonna eat this for lunch? <laughs> I need a rice though. Yeah, so it, it looks like it looks like that, right? So it's like that. It has the Japanese uh, yellow mustard mm. and then it has the soya sauce. It's dashi. So, oh, it's dashi. It should be here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it said it's dashi. Oh, I I mean, it's, quite, it's a little <laughs> different. It's lighter. Oh my god, I'm yeah. such a disgrace. I shouldn't say I've lived in Japan for a year and a half. No, so it's fine. Anyway, you open this up, so it's like that. You see the strand of the sticky things. Ta -da! <laughs> and it sticks, see? It sticks. And you're supposed to mix the sauces, like the dashi and the mustard in there, and then eat it. So if you travel to, if you have traveled to Japan and stay in um, those ryokan, or even like those um, hotels like the buffet, right? They mm. usually serve this because Japanese people, you, you guys have this with rice for breakfast, yeah. correct? Breakfast, yeah. Yeah. So it's a very, very common um, staple food in Japan. So this is dashi. Which I always thought is soya sauce. <laughs> it's like lighter soy sauce. It's a, a little sweeter, sweet though. Yeah. Mustard. And then, and then oops. you mixed it, right? You do it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, so, so natto's benefits. So it's good for skin. It helps with the uh, skin turnover. Skin turnover. That makes sense. Skin turnover. Yeah, like it, complexion. Oh, like, it, like like how how it helps you rejuvenate your yes, skin cells. Yes, 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 yes. What do you call that? What's that word? Re regeneration. Yes. Cell yes. regeneration. So yes. It also has uh, anti-aging power. Improves bowel movement. Strengthen immune system. Oh, and it, for you know, for the people with heart problems mm -hmm. with like blood clot related things, mm -hmm. it has some uh, el element or uh -huh. like the thing that <laughs> de de clot the blood. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Well, wow, but but I guess to really um, get reap those benefit, you need to consume it regularly, right? Not, I guess yeah. I guess like, so. Not like once a month kind mm. of thing, right? So how often do like a regular Japanese family consume natto? Almost every day. Well, maybe oh. not almost every day. Well, for me, when I was uh, growing up, mm -hmm. I think I was eating it maybe like four or five times a week. Wow, four yeah. times a week. Therefore, you have very nice skin. No, I want. Well, now I now I don't eat that much. You don't, so you don't yeah. eat it. Do you buy this at home, like in your Singapore um, apartment, and have it? Okay, I have like sometimes I don't like it, but then I have this period where when I don't like it, and then sometimes I crave it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I hope this sticky thing don't stick on my mouth. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Mm, uh, mm, mm. It's, it's really nice. I like it. I love it. I love natto. 
Mm, I like it, I like it. I like it. So in mm. Japan, right, if you go to those udon or soba restaurant, they always have, you know, cold soba and then with the to to ro, like the toro white, yeah, mm. toro, the white color thing. It's the, uh, yeah, potato. It's, What's it's, that? I think What's it's potato? Chinese yen. Uh. It's Chinese yen. Okay. Mm. So you can also get that from like Japanese supermarket and then if you, you don't need to cook it, so you just like, what do you call it, grate it. Yeah. And then like it becomes like this sticky, it's also very sticky, like this sticky thing. And then you put in like the egg, right, of mm. the tamago and then you just eat it like that. Yeah, it's, it's really like, good. I can yeah. only have one meal in my life, that would be it. Really? Yes, yes really. Well, I'll have like cold udon with that, mm. what do you call that? To, to, Chinese to, yen, to, 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 and then with like the onsen tamago mm. and with natto, like really. Enjoying our content? Remember to like and subscribe to our channel.